Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Uh, today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to show you guys my process about how I edit video reviews because um, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. So I am using, um, I actually don't even know what this software is off the top of my head. Uh, it's Vegas, what is it? Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 11.0 version, build 322. Um, I've used this, not this particular version, um, but some version of Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD, the entire length and breadth of Beer Geek Nation, um, just because I've gotten kind of so uh, used to the software that it's become second nature about what I do. Um, so today I'm going to be editing the Victory Java Cask um, review, which you guys saw on Monday, I believe, of this week. Um, so what I do is I just uh, import, um, and I'll show you what I do. What I do, um, I kind of set it up to where I know what number it's going to be. So here, here are all my... Um, files of previous reviews and all that stuff um so i know it's going to be number 916 i believe and somehow it got backward yeah 15 yep that was friday so java cask is 916 that i spelled episode right yeah so i select all these files and then i have previously kind of uh predetermined um already set up you know like the audio i call them video extras i just never changed it so this is the music we've got the aroma we've got my um bgn logo we've got the intro with sound effects um, we've got the taste and the verdict and these are all predetermined files that I, I just use those all the time so we import those all right so i know i load the Intro down here. I zoom in three times. Like I said, I've got this down to a T. I know the sound level has to go down to around 10. And the music has to go down to about 17. Or I hear about it. People complaining it's too loud. That's 13. Yeah, there we go. Whatever. Uh, and then I fade in a little bit. And then I know I'm going to go to my main file. And you guys are going to kind of see behind the, uh, the, the what do you call that, behind the, the curtain a little bit here. Uh, sipping on a Weyerbacher, I think it's 19. It's a Mango Imperial Wit Beer. Awesome stuff. Okay, so pardon me. Um, all right, so how I do it, I do it all in one take. Um... So this is all from beginning to end is one solid take. I taste the beer before I do it. I do all the pours, which, yes, I do all the pouring um, before I actually shoot any of this video. Um, I taste it. I get my notes. I know what I'm going to say going into the video so that I can just basically turn the mic on, turn the camera on, and uh, what you see is what you get. Um, and I can tell right here that this was a screw up. So if you guys want to see me screw up, you're going to get to see it right now. Hopefully you hear the audio. Um, I don't know if it's going to record because I have, <laughs> I'm recording from my mic, but let's see. It's going to be super loud. Hopefully not. Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today we're looking at a very special beer from Victory Brewing out of my neck of the woods. Yep. See right there. That's a screw up. <laughs> so. Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. All right. So. I know. I just know from previous experience, um, this is my intro that I'm going to use right here, um, and I'm just going to listen to it just to make sure. And that's the wrong button. Wow, fail. All right, let's try that. Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today we're looking at a very special release from my neck of the woods, actually. Victory Brewing out of Downingtown, Pennsylvania, now Parksburg, Pennsylvania. This is their Java cask. And I actually Coming screwed that up. It's Parkersburg. But, okay. uh, it's an imperial coffee stout. So, yep. Barrels. All right. I know that's pretty good. So I know I end it there. So I'm going to drop it down in here. Then we go over here. We add the aroma part in like so. Fade it over a little bit, and I know this is the aroma right here. I'm not sure what that is at the end. I think I had a cold on this one, so I was probably coughing. So that's probably what that little blip is right there. So let me just make sure. All right, guys, the aroma. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Massive amounts of fresh coffee, green pepper. Yep. I think that's good. So this goes here. And where's the taste file right here? So, I mean, you can see there's not, you know, I feel I feel like I shouldn't be doing this because it kind of takes away from the overall experience. But this is probably, you know, I mean, this is five years worth of experience um, right here. So, I can tell you right now, looking at this file, um, right here is where I say, and the taste on, and here's my drink, and then here's the explanation of it, just because I've done it so many times. Um... And I've actually, you know, I used to edit this part out, but you guys like to see me take the taste. Um, so I've left it in. So just to see. And right here, this is probably a cough or a sniff or something. I can just, I just know that this is the taste part. So let me hear it. I guess the taste. Yep, there we go. See? So. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's a fantastic beer. Fantastic beer. So I take this, I drop it down here, and then we scroll over here. I can see I'm about 235, so it's a relatively short video. Uh, we take the verdict section, and I'm dividing it because I know there's music and video. Um, the music I know is way over modulated, that's why I have it down to around 19, it's usually around 17, uh, just so it doesn't bleed, blow people's ears out. Um, now right here, I guarantee you I screwed up right there, that's why there's a second <laughs> part of the verdict um i can uh, i hope you guys can hear this um I'm, I'm, i don't know if my software is recording or not but uh if you want to hear me screw up here we go i can tell you exactly what i did all right guys so the final verdict on the victory java cast and i'm gonna take another, another sip it while i'm screwing up find it. guys this one is getting an a it is phenomenal phenomenal stuff up there with some of the best bourbon uh, bourbon barrel beers in the right, world so here probably, comes the screw opinion, up this is probably my favorite victory beer don't today. know what i, I really did but a lot. massive coffee yep yep <laughs> i get super annoyed when i screw up because i know it's just a massive waste of time all right so what I do here is I don't want to pick up too much blank space in the beginning. Um, and at the end, I do like to do a little bit of like a fade out where I actually drink, put the glass down, you guys know the drill. Um, so I know this is pretty much it. Just by judging about, again, I've done this so many times, I just know about how much space I need there. Um, so I put this down the verdict. And then what I do... Come down to the end. I used to put an end screen here. I don't think it's worth doing anymore. It's just not worth the time. I fade this out a little bit. And then we're going to go back and do all the overlay stuff. So first things first, I'm going to do my name and beergeeknation.com. Very interesting stuff, I know. And nine times out of ten, I screw that up. So I'm going to click down here and up here I can see it. Wow, it's way too big. You do select all. I do 22. And I do the right to the placement like so. And we fade it in just to be cute. Mellow it down a little bit. And then we're going to do all the poor videos. Or excuse me, the poor sections. All right, so you see I've got one, two, three, four, five. Six. So we open this. Get about three seconds. We went video only because we don't want the audio to complicate what I'm saying over top of it. And then we get this one. Do the same thing. Video only. Fade it in a little bit to the other clip. Open a trimmer. Usually the pour is a little bit longer. So we pulled about two to about two, about 15 seconds there. Nice long shot. So video only. And you can see it takes up more space there. And we've got the close-ups. Video only. And someday I'll show you guys how I shoot all this. Um, I guess that's really what I should be doing, but uh, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. All right, so there's a close-up. Four seconds worth. Video only. Fade it in. And the hero shot there at the end. A little bit of an... Uh, Focus issue there, but not too bad. So we fade this one out. 
Let's hit play just to see how it plays out. Neck of the woods. Actually, you can look up here. Victory Brewing and Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Now Parksburg. Name fades out. This bottle shot Java fades in. Coming at a 14.3 percent alcohol by volume. Uh, it's Here's a the pour. Stout aged in bourbon barrels. It was produced in collaboration with Philadelphia. Looks Steve good. Tavern, Johnny Brenda's restaurant, and they're using Johnny Brenda's. It's about 14 coffee. seconds. Uh, that's kind of the money question. shot. Let's let's not kid I anybody. Think this might be the biggest beer Victory's ever done. And don't quote me on that, but I don't. Ever remember seeing anything this big? They Fade in. Really, really solid barrel aged beers. They don't put Fade out. A lot out. Of do. They're really, really solid. Good um, stuff. Especially with their new production facility, which is gigantic. All I'll right, so we stop them. that. And last but certainly not least, we're gonna add the Beer Nation logo into this. Um, and what this is, it's a uh, GIF file or GIF file, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, excuse me, let me take a drink here. That I put on a transparent background um and basically i just uh drag and drop into the text file fade it in um and if you look up here you can see how big it is um so i go to the event pan crop panel adjust it do the zoom to 10 percent which automatically adjusts for 12 percent for some reason i don't know why but then i can like pull the corner like this oh actually this up <laughs> you do it so often you don't think about it I do 16 by 9 sorry <laughs> yeah I'm kind of, I get on like autopilot mode when I do this so then I zoom it out make it bigger I know where the frame is gonna be stick it to the top left of the frame and then we pull it to the end of the video like so fade it out and just make sure it looks okay. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. Yep, looks pretty good. And that's it, guys. Um, that's the magic of Beer Geek Nation. It took what ten minutes? It took me about four years to <laughs> figure out how to do it so quickly. Um, some require more editing the others than others. Uh, there's some audio issues that I can clean up. Some popping, some hissing. I do some video overlays. Uh, a little bit of filtering, um, but that's pretty much it. So from there, I just do edit, select all, project, make movie, and then I save it to my hard drive. Um, and it's probably going to hate me for doing this because I'm recording and saving at this and rendering at the same time. But pick JavaCast and save it there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy this. If you want to see more videos like this, I do want to show you guys my video setup at some point. Uh, but I thought it'd be interesting just to see me do a video. Um, that's how I do it. It's the kind of pulling back the curtain a little bit. So with that said, folks, remember life's too short. Drink amazing beers and and, and let's hey, let's go render. Cheers.